Emma Watson did not snub Robert Pattinson, nor is he is smitten with his one-time co-star. Gossip Cop can bust yet another false story about the pair, this one about an alleged one-night stand. Oftentimes rumors spread in the gossip media after being manufactured by one tabloid and then boosted by another. The multiple reports wrongly lead fans to believe there could be some merit to them. That's what's going on here. Watson and Pattinson were first linked, albeit inaccurately, by the National Enquirer in December. The purported romance was completely made up. But In Touch picked up the narrative and falsely claimed Pattinson and Watson were dating. And then after the pair recently presented together at the Golden Globes, the same magazine absurdly alleged Pattinson and Watson went public as a new couple at the event. Of course, they did nothing of the sort. As Gossip Cop explained then, celebrities participating in awards shows typically don't choose their presenting partners. And to assume two stars are in a relationship simply because they shared the stage for a few minutes is ridiculous. Now Star is putting its own twist on this concocted storyline. A tall tale in the new issue begins, only a love potion could save Robert Pattinson from the terrible pickup line he used on Emma Watson after their presenting gig at the Golden Globes. The outlet alleges Pattinson has had a crush on the British babe since they worked together on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but she turned him down faster than you can say Vada Kedavra. A so-called witness is quoted as claiming, Rob said, do you want to hang out at my house? You know, like overnight it was just the worst idea ever. Emma is not a one-night stand kind of girl. The publication's supposed source goes on to allege she made a face like she ate something rotten and ran away. It was so embarrassing. Gossip Cop is going to cut right to the chase, we're told by contacts on both sides that this supposed incident never happened. They each had fun at the ceremony, but Pattinson never hit on Watson and she never rejected him. Here's what's really going on, in late November, it was revealed Watson and her boyfriend had split. So, after it was confirmed she was single, the National Enquirer chose to randomly tie her to Pattinson less than three weeks later. The subsequent stories from In Touch and Star gave the impression that where there is smoke, there is fire. But that ISNT always the case and certainly ISNT the case here. Simply, one tabloid fabricated a romantic connection and inspired its fellow gossip magazines to copy and do the same. But all of these claims are just as fictional as the Harry Potter series itself.